in these two packages we have here today, man, I am over the moon about what we got, man. This right here could be possibly, I don't think it's the rarest, but it's one of the rarest WWE Elite figures that you could possibly have, at least at this moment in time. Controversial unboxing coming right here, and then we have a beautiful custom wrapped up right here, and I have no idea what it looks like, but it was commissioned and sent by one of the big supporters of the channel, and I cannot wait to open it with you, man, so let's shut the hell up. Today's a bit of a weird unboxing, I think. It's a weird unboxing. We got a great custom here. We have a rare WWE Elite in here and I honestly could not be more excited so let me move the damn camera and set up in our usual spot I'll grab the trusty knife and we'll crack this some bitch open so I got a couple shout outs to get out of the way I'll move the custom out of the way first because I want to open it last but this right here this package right here is unbelievable this week has just been ridiculous with unbelievable WWE action figure packages and it just seems like it keeps getting better and better where the hell is the trusty knife aha I can't stab this one. Can't take any risks. Who am I kidding? You gotta get it in. Ugh. See, I did that. I punctured it up and to the right so we wouldn't risk anything there, but... Ugh. This package does come to us from my buddy Pro underscore Rasslin on Instagram. Definitely go give him a follow, man. I greatly appreciate him for this donation to the channel. One of the supporters of the channel. Awesome dude. Awesome page as well. Posts really cool customs and things like that, man. So if you're interested in WWE action figure customs and rare posts and things, go hit up my boy and go follow him because he's greatly appreciated around these parts. Let's cut open the center here and let's get our stuff in line. God. All right, man. I don't think we're ready for this. I don't think we're ready for this. All right, I already knew what was coming, but you guys are about to be shocked as hell, Brad. I mean, can we even believe it, bro? Look at this thing. And you may be thinking to yourself, oh, that's just a custom. Well, Brad, we're going to find out right now if it's custom because I do believe 100% that this happens to be the real deal. Now, don't be a moron and cut it and hurt contents of which resides inside the bubble wrap. Very well packaged. Shout out to Pro Wrestling for this wonderful package. And if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, you're going to see that it is none other than the WWE Elite 91 Chase Rob Van Dam unreleased Rising Sun ECW action figure attire. Look at what we have right here, man. This is not a custom. This is cu I want you guys to get in here and see this paint right here. This is not custom. This is this is completely real. The unreleased Rob Van Dam double jointed arms, smiley head sculpt, and we're going to definitely take a look at what this looks like up next to the rest of the RBDs, man. Unbelievable, man. Thank you so much to Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Good God. It's so epic. I'm choking. I told you guys that fans of the MDT channel or My Damn Nation or My Damn Maniac, still working on the name, MDT Nation, best fans, best supporters in the entire universe, man. Look at how beautiful this figure is. Elite 91 RVD has been kind of an MVP of the channel as this past week. You guys know that I got the regular edition autograph when I went to San Antonio, Texas for the Royal Rumble, and now we have a loose version of the Chase variant RVD here and I am just so giddy to have this in my collection man. I am just blown away. I was super bummed when this figure was cancelled. I can't believe I'm holding this figure in my hands right now man. Great head sculpt. We have the double jointed arms, black hand tape. I mean it's the exact same figure as the Elite 91. It just has different gear and it's cool because the base attire is white so it's almost like a white gear RVD. I mean I guess the Elite 91 has as well but let's go ahead. Let's back this guy up and let's line up all of our Elite RVD RVD's nuts. Now, if you guys were unaware, RVD is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. The Tiger Stripes gear is one of my favorite attires of all time. And now I have all four WWE Elite RVDs up next to each other. The Elite 27 with a head swap from a basic. The Elite 91 Standard Edition. The Elite 91 Chase. And the Ruthless Aggression Series Number 2 Walmart Exclusive Rob Van Dam Elite. And I just can't believe it, man. This is so epic. And I need to know your actual advice down in the comment section below. Do I replace the knee pads with the smaller knee pads? Or do I leave the figure stock as is, as it was supposed to come from Mattel?
hell. That is something I need to know. I just can't even believe this is in my presence, man. Unfreaking believable. I'm hoping this year we get a Target exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition RVD announced with the Money in the Bank and the ECW Championship and the WWE Spinner. The custom Money in the Bank briefcase from RVD with the ECW One Night Stand gear. That is my top Ultimate Edition outside of maybe a Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition. Those are probably my top two that I want to see this year. I want to see a Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition, preferably 2001, but I would take a bald Kurt Angle as well. And then a ECW One Night Stand RVD is what I want to see, man. But I can't even, I, I'm just I, unbelievable, man. Huge shout out to Pro Wrestling, man. Go give this guy a follow. He does great fix-ups and customs on his page. Great dude. Great friend of the channel. And we appreciate him so much, man. I, I just, I'm speechless again. I'm so speechless. But before we proceed, I do want to get into the custom figure that we're going to unbox as well today. God, don't fall over, not my background over. Please, Jesus. If we get an Ultimate Edition RVD, we need like a stone head sculpt. We need a smiley head sculpt. And probably just like a gritting emotion. I don't know, but let's get the custom now. Holy shiznit, I about knocked these RVDs over. Now, this custom figure that's in here, I have no idea who it is, I have no idea what it is, but it did come in like a DHL bag, but I undid it, took it out of the bag, and now I have this. And this was made by Showstopper Custom Figs on Instagram. I used to get a ton of work by him. Unbelievable customizer, probably one of the best WWE action figure customizers that you will find out there. Very talented individual. I have a lot of pieces in my collection from him, and now I get to add another one. This package does come to us from my boy Ty Goodridge. Amazing human being. Great dude. Big fan of the channel as well. He has sent us things over the past few years on the channel as well. And he's always been such a joy. And I always appreciate him so much. A huge shout out to Ty as well. Appreciate him so much. A huge shout out to Ty as well. Definitely send him some kind words. But let's unbox here with the tape. I want to be careful because I don't again I have no idea what to expect right here. I mean this that you know what I'm saying. I know it's a figure but I am unaware of what the hell could be in here. So so let's unbox this, wrapping it around. I really don't know the best way to do this, but also be careful not to slice your goddamn face off. By face, I mean finger. It seems like there's like a protector case in here, or what feels like a protector case. It kind of looks like it as well, but once I slit this tape right here, maybe I could just slide it out, maybe? Unraveling here. And it looks like... It's just an ordinary crabby... Oh my goodness! To me, it looks like we have a custom Seth Rollins in here, and I cannot see exactly what it is just yet. I gotta get this thing off. My God. Stuck to the tape. Well, it looks damn good from here, but I gotta get all this tape off. A few moments later. All right, I finally got him out of the packaging. And it looks like he's in a bubble wrap here. I'm interested to know what figure bubble wrap this is. I can't tell right off the top of the dome, but let's release the Seth Rollins. Now, this is a custom, so I want to be very, very careful here not to hurt the figure, damage the figure here. This is a fantastic attire. I'm loving what we got right here. Let me move the camera and the... Getting a zoom in shot of the gear here, you have this like speckled triangle pattern going all the way around. Very dope gear right here, man. Look at this right here. My damn Rollins, bro. How epic is this right here, man? Look at these triangles. Very... I'm guessing these are hand-painted by, by Showstopper Custom Figs. The black really makes it pop off, and then it goes down here on the kick pad. It's almost like a mix of like an MDT gear with a modern Rollins twist, and I think it looks super badass, man. What a great attire. I could see Rollins wear, like wearing something like this in real life. Wouldn't shock me to the slightest, and you guys can kind of see that, kind of like a modern take on a Rollins right here. Got like the Elite 37 arms, but he did go with the hairy torso, which makes it more accurate. It looks a lot better there. I love this, man. Thank you so much to Ty. My damn Rollins, man. That's sick. This is most definitely, this figure is most definitely going to have a very special spot in the collection, man. Huge shout out to Ty, man. It means so much to me for you to have this made for the channel. I love it. I think the colors look great. I love the My Damn Rollins on the side. This is badass. I think the hair is painted very well as well, man. A great job by Showstopper Custom Figs. Very badassery. Love it, man. I almost feel like this looks just like something he would wear. Of course, he probably wouldn't put My Damn Rollins on it, but well, you know what? Maybe one day. Never say never. A huge shout out to Ty and a huge shout out to Pro Wrestling for the epic unboxing here. 
here today, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Definitely go check them out. Again, man, it, it just blows my mind that there's people out there that love the channel so much and support the channel so much that you guys send me these things to unbox and to talk about here on the channel. It just truly touches my heart, man. And it just goes back to my trip to San Antonio and the Royal Rumble and meeting all you amazing people. I'm just thankful and I'm grateful and I'm extremely blessed to be in this position. And I appreciate you guys so very much, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge thank you again to Pro Wrestling Anti for the epic customs and RVD action figure. Hope you guys do and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and I'll see you next time. Whoa, no.